Hello, this is C-Dub with ProducerClubhouse.com, and today I'm going to show you how to loop a section in Logic Pro. I'm going to show you two different ways you can do that, so let's just get right to it. Okay, so I have created this loop, or this, 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 this four measure uh, drum loop, okay? Uh, all right, so I'm going to play it for you, let you hear what it sounds like. Okay, so I want this to play over and over again. So maybe I, I want to create something that goes with it, maybe on the piano or something. But I just wanted to keep playing. So there are two different ways I'm going to show you how to do that. Number one, if you take your cursor and you highlight the top part where the numbers are, right at the top, okay, and just do it to however long you want the loop or however long the loop is, which in this case is four measures. So I'm going from one to the end of measure four. And you just, there you go, you have it. That's one way to do it, okay? And it'll loop back again, okay? Now, there is another way. And why would you want another way? Well, I'm gonna tell you why, because you may want to, the drum loop may be good for four measures, but your bass line may be an eight measure loop, okay? So if you're trying to record like this, it's just gonna keep looping back from one to four, just keep looping back, and you won't have the extra four measures to finish out your bass line. So what you wanna do is, if you take this off, and you make sure you have the pointer tool selected. And how you do that, you just come over here and it's right there at the first one, okay? You make sure you have it selected and you highlight each one of the tracks. And you go over here to the side and you hit loop. Now, this will loop this part all the way as far as you want it to go. If you want it to go farther, you just take this and move it even further as long as you keep you know it'll just keep going have along this little marker is right here so this would enable you to play all this time with this same loop still going it'll just keep playing see so this way you can still play over it and if you have something um, that you want to play that's longer than four measures, you don't have to be confined to this section right here. You can still play throughout the song. So that's two ways that you can do it. Also, uh, and to take that off, you just hit uncheck it and then it's back to normal. And if you want to put this loop back on, you can either just click up here like that. And as you see, when you do that, this loop button right here, the cycle, it becomes green, so you can just either you know, turn it on and off like that. Okay. And that's how you loop in Logic Pro. Thanks. This is C-Dub with ProducerClubhouse.com.